This is a Swift Elegance 2018. And the problem we have is that the awning light doesn't work. Everything else does, it's just the awning light doesn't. Ordinarily you'd have your power on, then you'd have your, your light on oh, up there, like that. And then that isn't working. Uh, there's, there's two reasons for that at the moment, which I'll get to in a second, but it, that's the, that was a problem the customer was telling me about. So with that on it should work, and it wasn't. Uh, so it can be three things, either the switch, the light itself, or the power board. So to make sure it wasn't the light itself, I've got another light and plugged it in and it bypassed the light, so it wasn't that. Um, it could be the switch, I didn't get to that because I went to the PCU next. Um, so it could be that, so if you've got one of those you can swap one of those out. Um, but I thought it was probably this board and after speaking to Sergeant that's what it is. So um, the wire responsible uh, for the awning light is this E1 and it's the grey and green which when plugged in goes into that one there. Now when you switch that switch there is supposed to be uh, 12 volt coming out of that, a positive 12 volt coming out up to the up to the light itself. Uh, and so when I spoke to Sergeant, they said just put your probe in positive in there, negative in an orange down the bottom there somewhere, and you should get a positive 12 volt reading. I didn't get anything at all. So just to try it, I swapped it, and I know there's a positive here, so I put a positive uh, probe in there and a negative in there, and it had a strong 12 volt reading. Now, according to uh, Sergeant, that shouldn't be happening, so obviously there's something wrong with the board. Um, it also can be the alarm. Um, there's a ground on the alarm, which went a little bit over my head, but there's something to do with that that um, can confuse the board. So there's this black plug here that goes into X5 black, I think it's called. Uh, take that out and then that isolates the switching mechanism on the alarm because when you on this one when you press the fob it also um, operates the awning light so you take that out and that then uh, bypasses all that so that takes that out of the system so we know you know there's still a problem with that it's not that side of it so with the um, I had to double check that it wasn't the wiring going from here up to the light I bridged across um, I put a positive into the green from a positive that I knew was here. And you can see the light's working up there. Okay. A bit fuzzy on there. So the light's working and I disconnect that and it doesn't. So we know that the power, um, if, if you put power into that grey, um, then it's going up to the light so it's working. So we know it's not the wiring. So it has to be that. E1, that one there, isn't giving us 12 volts. So that means the only solution then is to send this off to Sergeant. Uh, this one, unfortunately, isn't under warranty. So uh, they do a repair service, which uh, dealers can, um, and, and public can send it off to and it gets repaired. So that's what I'm gonna do is disconnect all this, send it off to Sergeant, and they'll repair it for a fee, send it back, and hopefully um, it should be okay. Uh, so there you go, that's why it's very rare apparently, so you may not, um, but it could be something else to say, it could be the wire, could be the alarm, could be the light itself or the switch, but in this case that's what it is. So if you haven't got 12 volt, a positive 12 volt coming out of this wire here by using a, a, an earth down there, then that's the problem in this case. Thank you very much.